Hello, my name is Tim, and welcome to How to Build a Simple Birdhouse in Less Than 10 Minutes. These are the cuts you're going to be making. 11 cuts. We're going to be using, from our material list, we're going to be using a 1x6 piece of cedar. Preferably pine, but at this birdhouse will be cedar. You're going to need a dowel rod, 5 16 this cedar is 50 inches long. Start out with 50 inches. You're going to make this in 11 cuts. These are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a, a nail gun. Finishing nail gun, preferably an inch and a quarter nails. You're going to need a cordless drill, quarter inch wood bit, and a one inch paddle bit. You need some wood glue, speed square, irregular tape, a finished hammer. Okay, like I said, first we're going to start off with and a pencil. Don't forget your pencil. We're going to start off with our first cut. From our list, your first cut is nine inches. You're also going to need a compound miter saw. You're going to need a chop box. This will expedite the production of your birdhouse. That's my base. That's my first cut. Now I'm going to make two at seven. Again, I chose cedar because the customer asked me to make them one in cedar. I'm going to use any scrap wood, deck wood, planking. That's my second. That's first at seven. Here's my second at seven. Seven of the two front and back sides of the birdhouse. two and eight. That's the roof. Once you love the smell of cedar, guys. Time and time again, people always want to do this and they never show them. A real easy way, a real simple way. Now we're going to do the two sides. Four and three sixteenths. And I'm showing you an easy way. So instead of flowers for the wife on Valentine's Day, she'll want a birdhouse. Who the heck wants flowers when you can have a birdhouse? <laughs> okay, two sides. This is all we need for the birdhouse. Before I do that, let me cut my dowel rod. This way I'm done with this. No, I still have two more cuts to make. You can make this any, pick any length on the dowel rod. I cut about, that looks like two, two and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to take my two seven inch pieces now and I'm going to find center. Come over here with that camera. My little lovely assistant, Camilla. Okay, I'm going to line these up, use my speed square, find center, it's usually two and three quarters, which would be on this one. So two and three quarters is center. This is going to be the gable. Oh, that's not two and three quarter. That's two and three quarter. Gable of the birdhouse. We're going to take my speed square, as you see, flip it, and point. I'm over back to my chop box with my saw on 45. Make these two cuts. As you see, I'm cutting them both at the same time to save time, and it makes it come out more precise, more accurate. Now, you don't change the saw on this, you turn your wood this way, and now you'll work with your 45. We go to the construction phase of our birdhouse. Okay, start with your base, your nine inch base. Okay, we want our rough side in, 
and we want to finish the sides out. We're going to glue. Turn it to the side. Watch your fingers with your gun. I'm choosing a pass load gun here, which is very dangerous. So, if you have a compressor nail gun, by all means, use it. Put some pressure on that. Try to get it a little more accurate. Start with my first nail. Okay. And then we go to the second nail. Three nails. Okay. That's my front, that's my back. Now we pick up my first four and three sixteenths side and we glue an L. L shape right here. Oh my first side. Right? Who wants diamond rings, girls, when you can have for Valentine's Day. Pick up my second side. Knock the burrs off if you can. Keep the inside, outside finished, if we may. This is common cedar. And you notice one side's rough one side is finished. Trying to keep the finished sides out. It's not life and death, but it makes, the, makes the birdhouse look nicer. Again, glue. Going on to my front piece. This was originally a 7 inch piece. As you can see, we have a little porch here for uh, fine feathered plants. This is going to be a wren house. The opening is going to be an inch on a paddle bit. Very loud job, huh? Okay, we skipped the cut. We're going to go back to the saw. That's okay. I want to knock three quarters of an inch off one of my eight inch roof panels. So, very simply, we just score this here. Okay. The reason why we're doing this is because to make my roof. To make my roof uh, equal in, in distance, this eventually becomes the chimney, which I will show you. We can go back to the saw, put it on 45, cut my 45 here, right. go back to the saw, cut myself a little bit. This will become my chimney. Let's go back to the very house. And the 8 inch pieces that I cut. Here's my roof. First piece will be mounted. Let's get some glue. It's going to be mounted to the ridge, equal to the ridge, like so. Flush on all three sides. The glue works quick on this. It's great. We're ready. Now let's go with my. It's easy now. Now we get a little extra bond, a little extra glue. And as you see, the roof is on.
now we go to the opening of our birdhouse. Since I already have the quarter inch bit in for my dowel, I will start with the perch. I'll put the perch low, and I go right through the seam. It doesn't matter. Now I have a quarter inch bit, but I have a five six piece dowel on, and I want it snug after I hammer it in. I blow out my glue real quick. Glue this, no rod, and I tap it in. to my paddle bit and I'm going to bore out my hole. You should really use a boring bit because this is kind of a cheap bit that makes the hole rough. A boring bit would give you a nice smoother hole. So you also want about a three inch drop from the hole for the bird. If the hole is too low they won't choose the hammer. They need a drop. There you have the house. Now we're going to give you the chimney real quick. Here's the chimney that I cut. Put a little glue on it. It's 45. The roof is already at 45 pitch. Put the chimney there. Take my gun. Shoot it within there. I'm going to do a double. Birdhouse in less than 10 minutes.